let's get into the script environment. So I have a spreadsheet right now and you can see that it's empty. There's not much interesting here. Uh, but what I can actually do is go into tools and then click script editor. And if I click that, that's going to pop open a new tab as you can see here. And I'm going to get into the script editor. So there are a lot of things going on here. Let's kind of take them step by step. Uh, I have my project name up here and we can go ahead and give this a project name. We'll go ahead and say uh, my script project for the first time. I hit enter and here we go, saving my script project. So we have that saved in just a moment that'll come up but we also have a few menus we have a file menu where we can save and we can uh, make a copy of our project we have our edit menu uh, where we can do some very some other things here like find and replace we'll get into content assist and what that means uh, we'll get into view and take a look at logs logs are pretty important uh, we'll run publish we have resources and we can get some help and there are a lot of really good tutorials and there's a lot of good documentation here so it's a good place to start then we have some buttons, you know, so we have our, our toggle button here. Uh, this button is going to give us the capability to uh, toggle our indent. So you can see here the indent, and this is going to allow us to, you know, keep our code a little bit uh, more organized. We have a save button so we can save our project, save our code file. Uh, we have uh, a trigger button. We'll get into triggers later. Uh, we have a run button. We have a debug button. Uh, we have a function button, and we'll get into functions later as well can also see we have different files on the left side now this is all kind of the surrounding stuff we also have our code area so you can see here code.gs and this is just our script and we're gonna get into what functions are and how you can customize functions in a later video um, but for now we have our function and we're identifying this as a function we have the name of the function we have parentheses this just kind of identifies this as a function and then we have these curly braces now on your keyboard those are gonna be next to your P key now if you hit those buttons you'll see that you're gonna get these square brackets and we don't want those for now or that's not what these ones are these are the curly ones so you have to hold down the shift button and hit those buttons or hit those keys on your keyboard so this is kind of the basic environment so take a second and just make sure that you have uh, an understanding of what's here um, you can do a couple of things you know first off you can hit the play button hit the run button and that's going to run our function because we only have one function to find and it's going to allow us to run them selectively but doesn't do anything because if you look between these two braces the curly braces here there's nothing happening now that's not super useful but one thing that you can do if you want something to happen is you can type logger that's logger with a capital L it's like blogger without a B or logger like someone who would you know cut down uh, trees and convert them to or for use for lumber uh, but we type logger and then we hit a period uh, we often call that a dot in programming I'm not exactly sure why but you know we, we would say logger dot and when we say that you can see this content assist so if this doesn't come up you can hit control space and if you remember back in the edit menu we had this content assist control space will make that come up so if you hit control space you can make that come up and logger is going to allow us to uh, add information or add something to a, to a log now logs are important because they allow us to kind of trace what's going on in our program logs are like a record of what we might want to say is happening now we have to make things go to the log we have to make messages go to the log uh, but logs can help us later if we're trying to figure out what our problems are we can use the log to kind of investigate a bit so I'm gonna say logger dot log and I'm just going to type here this is my first message now you'll notice a few things that I did here one is this is my first message is in double quotes so this is my first message these double quotes that means that that makes this a string and a string is just what we call text in a in JavaScript or in app script uh, the different programming languages so Java C++ all sorts of different programming languages use strings um, now you can use single quotes instead if I change this to single quotes and they're interchangeable in app script so I can use these single quotes and that's going to be just the same uh, so single quotes or double quotes as long as you start with single quotes and end with single quotes or start with double quotes and end with double quotes that will give you a string um, this statement logger dot log this is my first message notice that I use these parentheses and I end this with a semicolon this will give me uh, something something will happen when I run this code so I'm gonna go ahead and save it I'm gonna hit that run button and you'll notice nothing interesting came up just yet and that's because we have to go into view logs 
and you can see here this is going to you can see exactly 2017 September 15th at 157 we have this output saying this is my first message and you know you could even do another one you could type blogger log this is my second message and if we run now and view our logs we can see both of those now notice this cleared everything you know we got that clear uh, every time we run so you can see we got a new first message and a new second message and if I were to do something like put a logger dot clear in between these two and then run then view my logs you can also just hit command enter you can see only the second message showed up so and I can move this around just kind of move it down to the corner here uh, so kind of you know just if I want to clear everything out usually I'm not going to want to do that so if, but if we have just this we're able to make the program do something now this isn't so interesting but we will get into more functionality and more features in future videos but for now thanks for watching this I hope that this gave you a basic intro to the scripting environment and we'll get more and more into how we can write scripts in future videos